Did you know that when you do something as simple as take a YouTube video and put it inside a blog post or on one of the important pages on your website, it destroys your page load speed performance. Here's what I'm talking about. 3.4 seconds load time and look how large the JavaScript is, 673 kilobytes. Now, obviously this is all of the JavaScript, but let me show you how implementing one simple change how this could be dramatically improved. So, so keep that 673 number in your head. This is the very same page, but with what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. And look, now JavaScript is only 162. That's a massive difference, and the fully loaded time is significantly faster. Maybe you didn't know this, but YouTube video embeds on your website crush your performance scores. But don't worry about it because I'm gonna show you how to fix that in this video. Let's get started. So here is that post that I did the performance test on uh, right here. And this is what the video YouTube embeds gonna look like uh, after we do this fix. And you can actually change this orange color. So we're gonna be using a plugin that will optimize everything automatically for you and it's so simple. And here's one of the side benefits. See on this video now, there's a subscribe bar down here underneath the video. Side benefit, if you wanted to add that, you're also going to be able to do that with this simple solution. Now the first step is to install a plugin. So we're gonna go to plugins, click on add new, and we're gonna do a search for Presto Player. It's two words. Here it is right here, Presto Player. Let's go ahead and click on install. And then let's go ahead and activate it. Quick disclaimer, I'm the co-founder of Presto Player. It's free, so don't worry. You're not gonna have to buy anything to drastically speed up your web page loading speeds when you're using YouTube videos. But I just wanted to throw in that little bit of disclaimer right here. I put my own videos on my own websites, so I really created a solution for myself. Okay, now that that is activated, you'll see a new menu option here that says Presto Player. Let's go ahead and I want to show you the settings. So the first setting right here that you you might want to pay attention to is the color of that play button so you can customize it I think I showed you it was this default orange so you can go ahead and put your color code in or just choose a color whatever is your preference you could do that right here so let's go ahead and click on save changes next if you want the subscribe bar this is all you have to do Click right here where it says integrations, scroll down here to YouTube, and right here it says channel, oops, right here it says channel ID. You need to enter in the channel ID for your YouTube channel or any channel that you wanna drive subscriptions to. Here's my YouTube channel, and it might be hard to see, but if you look at the URL, it says youtube.com slash channel slash, and it's got this crazy long string of characters. Well, that's what you're going to want to enter in, just the crazy long string of characters characters. So I have it in my clipboard. I'll go ahead and paste it in. Now you can leave this blank if you don't want the subscribe bar. It's entirely up to you. Now we also have this uh, privacy mode. This is great if you're concerned about GDPR and many people are. You can turn this on and it's going to make it so YouTube can't track the viewers. So it's entirely up to you if you wanna to toggle that on. So I'm gonna uh, put in my channel ID and I'll go ahead and click on save changes. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and enter a video and the process is pretty much the same way that you would do it normally without Presto Player. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll click on posts and here is that post right here. And I'll go ahead and enter in underneath, let's see, where was I gonna do? I'm gonna do it underneath this little bit of columns right here. I'll go ahead and add in, let me just first show you how you normally do it and then how to do it with Presto Player. Uh, but it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna insert after. So normally when you want to enter a YouTube embed, you would add the YouTube block. So if I go slash and start typing in YouTube, you could see right there, it says YouTube. You'd go there and you'd pop in the URL to a video. Okay, I just put something in my clipboard. There it is, I'll click on embed and then there it is. So we're not gonna do it this way. So let's go ahead and remove that block and we'll do that again. I'm going to insert after 
and I'm going to instead type Presto right here. And you alternatively can click on the plus and search for Presto just like this. There we go. And we're gonna wanna use the Presto YouTube video right here. And I'll just click right there. And you notice it's exactly the same process. So let's go ahead and paste our video in, click on add video. Now Presto Player adds a lot of features, but right here is video preset. And there's a preset here that says YouTube optimized. And when you click on YouTube optimized, it's going to make it so the player is fully optimized that none of the YouTube stuff loads unless someone clicks on the play button. And that's how we're getting that huge performance boost. So you can see also that brand color I set a moment ago is showing right there. And because I put the YouTube channel ID in, I'm getting the subscribe bar. If I didn't have that in, I wouldn't get the subscribe bar. Next, all I have to do is click on update and then I can click on view post scroll down and there it is with that YouTube subscribe bar. Hey, and if you use Elementor or Beaver Builder, I've got great news for you. There's a native module inside of those page builders. So when you go into the editor, say Elementor, you'll see Presto Player right there and you can just drag and drop it into your layout. Same goes for Beaver Builder and it also works with dynamic content. If you have Elementor Pro or if you have Beaver Themer, it's gonna work with dynamic content and it can pull the video URL in from a custom field and you are set. Now there's also a way to use Presto Player if you're not using Gutenberg Elementor or Beaver Builder. Let me just show you that really quick. We have this uh, really cool feature in Presto Player called the Media Hub. So if I go here to Media Hub, I can click on Add New and I'll click on YouTube. I'll paste in a YouTube URL, the same thing. And here is the video and I'll scroll down and make sure I click on YouTube optimized. Let me go ahead and give this video a title. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and click on publish and then publish again. So that video has been created. Now I'm back in my media hub and I can go ahead and place this short code anywhere I want on my website in a widget pretty much anywhere in any page builder. And there's also a PHP function here for you developers. If you want to add this to a place inside of the code in one of your template files and you get all of that and so much more using this free version of Presto player. And like I said, I'm the co-founder of this product. It's the ultimate tool for video on your website. And there's also a pro version. I don't want to talk about it much in this video. I'll just give you the highlights. You can have custom presets. You can have chapter markings. You can have logo, lo logo overlays. You can do email capture. We have an overlay engine. We've got, oh my gosh, just so many features. It's hard to list them all. Analytics, uh, so many different things in different uh, video sources. Anyways. I just wanted to show you what you could do with this free version of Presto Player in order to speed up the load time of your website. If you have any YouTube videos on your website, quickly, fast, and painless. So that's it. That's what I have for you in this video. If you have a question, go ahead and ask it down below. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed, but give this video a thumbs up if you like stuff like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.